Hey guys, it's Mom Astafa here, author, speaker, coach, and welcome to another edition of Motivated Muscle, where you learn the mindset secrets to help you burn stubborn body fat and add lean muscle. And in this video, I want to address the question of sleep. I actually had a question here from Bradley in Singapore, and this question is: How do you manage getting? Uh, how do you manage sleep? Either getting enough of it, uh, too much, or balancing it? He said, I, I find if I train in the morning. I tend to get a little anxious and wake up uh, to wake up in time uh, to get ready for sessions to the point I don't actually get quality sleep. So first of all, thank you very much, Bradley, here for your question. So let me just pop my iPad down and I want to address this for you. So the first thing I would do, especially if you're working in a full-time job and your working hours are quite fixed, um, I would try to keep quite an open-minded approach and try to be quite flexible in your approach because obviously you already have a constraining factor here. Now myself, I'm uh, self-employed so my schedule is basically very much on my own terms so I can work out the different times of day. But if you're in a job or any of you guys watching this video are in a full-time job, then you're going to have to be a little bit more flexible in the time that you do have to try and make this work. Okay, so that being said now, uh, I want you guys to think about yourselves as a little bit of a, a mental alchemist. This is what I like to do. I like to look at a, a situation that may be perceived as a negative and then find a way to alchemize it into a, posi uh, a positive. Okay, so first of all, what I would say is that um, I would try and understand how much sleep your body needs. Okay, that's the first thing you want to figure out. Okay. Um, how much sleep do you actually need? Some people get uh, do well on six hours sleep. Some people only need eight hours. And there's different numbers out there. Uh, I try to aim for about eight hours of quality sleep each night. Now, in terms of your question, when you're talking about um, if feeling a little bit anxious if you're training, if you're getting up early in the morning to go to a workout, if I read your, your question correctly, I'm, I'm gathering... It's the same kind of feeling you have when you like maybe back in school and you've been off uh, you've been off school for the summer holidays and then when you do to go back into school you get that anxious feeling because there's going to be some change in your in your routine and that might be a similar kind of thing and the mind tends to be very uh, active around those times but as you probably remember is when you go back into school or even when you get back into a job after taking a few weeks off on holiday or something your mind tends to be very conscious uh, and very active before you go back into your work. But then after a while, you get back into your routine and it's fine. So I would say, first of all, that feeling will probably go away. OK, if it doesn't go away, then obviously you're going to have to try and be, like I said, a bit more flexible around this and say, is there a different way or a different time of day that I can work out? So what I like to do is say, for example, you want to work out for your situation. Say you are uh, starting work at nine o'clock in the morning. You you want to get to the gym by, say, seven o'clock. OK. And that would mean you may be getting up at six in the morning. Then, you know, there could be an argument for getting up even earlier and going to the gym earlier or whatever. But what you might want to do to in order to make sure you get enough sleep is just, you know, if you don't want to get up any earlier than six in the morning, even though there are people who do that, they get up earlier. But if you want to get up, say, at six, then just try to go to bed a bit earlier. OK, now this will take a little bit of readjustment, especially if you're used to going to bed late or whatever. And one thing I like to do is I set an alarm clock on my phone and it's just it's a reminder for me to start getting ready to go to sleep. OK, and it took me a while because I'm a bit of a, a night owl, if that's the term, you know, I like to stay up quite late. Um, and then mornings, I, I don't tend to get up very early, you know, so I had to sort of retrain my body into a different pattern, if you like, a little bit just to get used to it. And over time, it gets easier and easier. Um, another thing you can do is if you find that that isn't working for you is to to change your workout. If you can't if you can't change your sleeping pattern, per se, just go to sleep as usual, but don't work out in the morning. Move the workout to after work and then train after you finish work, okay, and find a time in there, okay. The, the the fact is we all have the same amount of hours in a day, and we need to be flexible with the time we have, and we need to realize that it's us that controls our time, so we need to, you know, um, play around with what we've got, basically, those are the cards we've been dealt, and we've got to try and move them around, okay. Now, different guys watching this video are going to be in different situations, Maybe in your job they'll allow you to train um, on your lunchtime. Maybe they've they've got a, a setup where they've got a gym in the building. Maybe you can ask to have flexible time, whatever it might be. But just realize you have to 
come from a position of how can you set up your life in, in you know to make sure that you are getting your main needs met so I hope uh, that's been of some use. Like I said, try and keep a, a, an open-minded, flexible approach with this. And I'm sure you're going to figure out a solution. If, you, if you're if you still stuck, send me a message. Just leave a comment below or send me a direct message on Facebook and I'll do my best to get back to you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a, um, Make sure you subscribe to my channel as well for more future updates to do with the mindset of managing and balancing life and getting into shape permanently and naturally. And again, if you're struggling with your mindset, make sure you subscribe to my 7 Mindset key pillars which shows you how to set your goals how to get motivated on a daily basis and how to take action towards getting your goals of losing body fat and adding lean muscle my name is Will Mastafa. i'll see you guys very soon take care